Okay, and welcome to a demo, apparently. We'll just get out of that. And welcome to a let's fool around whatever we want to call it. We're going to play it on medium. This is Jazz Jackrabbit. This is one of those dime a dozen 90s platformers that actually kind of won me over a hell of a lot back then. And I hunted this one down. This is not a GOG copy. I know you can buy this on GOG. I have not yet bought it on GOG. This is my old DOS copy that I run through Defend. And we're playing specifically the Christmas episode because, goddammit, this is a. I finally get around to doing my Christmas Let's Play. I actually attempted this a couple of years ago and I ended up rage quitting on this very level because, well, my patience is legendary. Actually, I think it was about this point that I gave up on it, too. Is there anything up there? No. So, yes, we play the small furry green bunny. We run around like this, we shoot things, we can go up and down, side to side, but not back in time. But we can go side to side, that's more than I can say for a lot of things. I keep feeling like there's something up there that I should be able to grab. God damn it. Can't get back up there now, can I? No. So we're just gonna plow through this episode. This is a standalone, this isn't part of the, the campaign for this game, such as it is. That's an invulnerability. We can upgrade our weapon. Uh, we've got a, a rapid fire missile at the moment. What's my weapon change? There we go. So we've got the blaster, which is an infinite. We've got the, the missile, which goes off in different directions. Each weapon does have its pros and cons. And the levels are timed, as you can see. I actually have a mouse cursor here. As you can see here, the um, levels are timed. If we run out of time, then we actually die. Yeah, also Jazz becomes more obnoxious the longer we leave him. Show one of those off in a second. That was a, another weapon. That was the blaster. What that one does. If I can get back up here. There we go. This one does. It bounces along merrily. So it's good for those tight spaces. Also good for shooting downwards because otherwise there is no down to shoot. Well, wow, that was lucky. We get around here. No secrets up against that. And then we gotta jump on here. Oh. Now the carrots are actually health. We haven't taken any damage yet, so we don't actually technically have to care about that. Alright, this tells me that there's probably yeah, there is something up there. Let's see if we can grab it. Without wasting too much time and energy on this. Yes! Oh, it was just another... another shield. Oh, we've got it now, I suppose. Oh, nuts. Oh my lord. <laughs> Up we go. Yeah, we did it! Now, do we bravely try and get over here? Yes, we did! We did the thing! Apparently we can't get on top of the Christmas tree, but we're good. We're good. We have fireballs now. Well, well that was close. That would have been health damage if we had not had that shield. There we go. Now we're taking damage. Oi! Getting ahead of myself now. Let's see. So this is a good application for the launcher. Well, god damn it. Okay. Let's grab that TNT because that I believe kills everything on the screen of any time it's used. That ups our fire rate. Thusly. Well, such as it is at the moment. God damn it. 
I will right, get that again. I thought we had another point of health before we actually died then, but apparently I was wrong. It's a Christmas miracle. Well, got my keys wrong there. I don't know if we're actually taking out that bulldog. Let's find out. No, we won't. Can we look down? We can, in fact, look down. We can look down, we just can't shoot down because reasons. This was actually made by the same developer that released One Must Fall, which I long played a few months ago. And every now and again you'll find nods to their other games through here, which is something I haven't seen for a while. Oi, asshole. No. Nope. Right, we're not going to be greedy. Oi, eat shit. Any health floating around here at all? Oh, I don't like the look of this. What's down here? Seriously? <laughs> oh man, this is the first level too. Oh. Oh, we at least got the health. Oh, come on. That was not entirely fair. Nope. I don't know how our time is extended, though. Oi. Nope. Itch it. <laughs> Take him out that way. Nothing there. Oh, I see that power up. And we just found a secret level. So that demo that we, we saw at the very beginning, a demo is actually what uh, the secret levels look like. They're basically a racetrack and you have to run around almost bumper car style and collect the gems. Oh, and that's the end of that level. Yay! Right, so, this is the bonus level we, we run around. I think we have a, a sprint mode too, where if we sprint and we hit something, we go splat. There we go, a sprint but a tumble. So if we collect the 35 gems, we get a bonus life. I have a memory of someone else having Let's Played this actually, I don't know if it was Ghost LPs? I have memory of one of my friends actually let's playing this. Splat. Oi. Oh, that's exactly where I wanted to be actually. Another minute on our clock. I love the soundtracks for these old games. Actually, unpopular opinion time. John Romero has just announced Sigil, which is episode 5 for the Ultimate Doom. The soundtrack, the Buckethead um, soundtrack, is a thing of beauty, but not a Doom soundtrack. It's an absolutely beautiful, almost a, a love child of John Satriani and John, Joe Satriani and John 5. It's a stunning piece of guitar playing, but it does not feel like Doom at all. Fight me. Also, where are the rest of us? One gem short. There isn't a penalty for not getting this other than having wasted several minutes of your life. Yay! We get the hamburger bunny face. Uh, have a slurp of my coffee. Ah. 
Now, I don't know how long this episode goes for, but... I knew there was something back here. I also have a memory of there being something on these trees. Let's see if we can do this. We'll give it a couple of tries. That's one. There's, a clear, there's clearly a ramp here of these trees. Remember when I was a kid, my sister nailed this actually, and it shat me up the wall. Nope, I can't even get to the third tree. There was something up here, I'm sure of it. I want to know what it is now. Oh my lord. Alright, we'll give it another 18 seconds. Come on. I hate you, Jazz. Fine. Get munched on by a dog then. Oh, we got monkeys this episode. This level. Actually kind of cute in an obnoxious I already hate them kind of way. Because I'm not going to fucking rage about these assholes at all. Oh, I think I remember the... They're not the real problem on this level. If I recall correctly, they're actually the, the, the happy thing on this level. Well, there's our checkpoint. Actually, jump around that carrot because I'd like to be able to come back for, for some health. See, I'm glad we saved that now. Uh, oh, we got him, I guess. Yes, I know I left that missile. Let's face it, we're going to die and come back for it anyway. One limitation of the game engine is you'll notice we can only hit monsters that are on the screen. So if we fire something and it goes off the edge of the screen, it's not going to hit something. I have very mixed feelings about this, but that's, I suppose, that was... Oh, hello, Secret Passage. Hello, Secret Passage. I'm okay with this. I'm very okay with this. Oh my... Checkpoint! Another teleporter. Because reasons... I'm not questioning it, this is a, a 90s platformer. It really didn't have to make much sense, that's how we had the large green rabbit wielding a large blue gun that can fire almost every conceivable projectile in the first place. Oh my lord. Oh, well, that was the thing. That was an entirely infuriating thing, but it was a thing. Oh, and that's the end of that level. Hey, we didn't die that time. Oh yeah, we have a finite number of lives too. I should be mindful of this. Holodeus level three. Oh wow, this isn't the end, end of it already, is it? We have actual Christmas tree this time. Yay! It's just... There we go, there's our thumbnail. 
freezing rabbit under the light of an equally frozen Christmas tree. Yeah, this is the level I hate. They're nothing. They're the lost souls of this game. There is a critter, there's an enemy on this level. There's this literally thing. It springs out of the ground, or the anything really. We don't have to kill it. So we're not going to. And I actually, I dig it from a, hey, it's a 90s video game enemy type perspective. I hate it from a, I've got to play this level against it perspective. What's down there? Alright, let's save that for a rainy day. We lucked out on both of those. Both of those. Back we go! Again, glad I saved the carrot. Yeah. Timing them is... N oh, carrots will save those. Ah. We got him! Not one there. Oh, that was close. Kill him! Anything up here? Well, oi! Right, where'd those carrots go? Oh, hello, we'll take you and we'll shoot the living crap out of those things. That can just die right now. Right. Um, nope, we're playing it very safe. We're going straight back for these. Not like my luck, we would have died on the way. Oi. Oh my god. That was there. Here's a place. That's a thing. We have another shield. This one protects us from two hits. So two or four hits. Parrot will remain at our side now until we take damage of any sort, at which point it leaves us like the failure that we are. It's a faithful little buddy though. Is there anything through here? Probably the spot to be using our RF missiles. Oh, hello. Grab those. I only assume that the boss fight is the next level. And there is another um, Christmas episode as well. I have both. I have the DOS versions of both, though this is, as I said, this is the one that I've owned since I was... Christ, 10? This is my childhood copy. Whereas the other one is something I found on an abandoned west site somewhere. Oh, yep, there goes our faithful parrot. 
leaving us like pretty much everyone else. End of level! I love the way he's shivering. I don't know why I get such a sixth sense of satisfaction from that. And that's the end of the episode? Okay, well that was a, a nice short romp. Does anything happen? Nice job! The brief stop over to Holiday was it was a success. Jazz grabbed tons of holiday goodies and taught Devon's naughty goons to be nice. Cutscene ho! Happy holidays! Is there anything else? Game? Just throwing it out there. Wow, we actually got a high score for that. Alright, we'll just put it as cap then. Hey, well, we actually got a high score. We did a thing. I think we managed to balk up the MIDI player. And Snow is gathering atop our high scoreboard. So. There we have it, that was Jazz Jackrabbit, this was uh, Epic Mega Games in 1994 I believe. Let's have a look here, do we have order info? Two... Three... No, it doesn't look like we have a, a, a date for this one. Um, I believe it was 1994 by Epic Mega Games, the same lot that put out um, as I said, one must fall, and what else? Jill of the Jungle, I believe. Um, but that's it from me for, for for Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, also, what the hell are you doing watching YouTube on Christmas Day? Go hang out with family. Hey, and we have a demo. Let's see how long this one lasts, just for gits and shiggles. But then we'll call it at the end of this. I'll sign out until whatever I play next. Cheers.